Here in Texas, we have a lot of gun owners, and we know that many of them are very responsible with their firearms. But we also know that we have one of the highest incidents of unintentional firearm injuries. And that's something we want to talk about today, and we want to tell you one or two big ways where you can prevent an unintentional injury like this in your own home. I'm Shelley Koffler with University Health System. I'm here with Mandy Foles. She's the coordinator for Safe Kids San Antonio, which is part of our big trauma effort here at University Health System. And Mandy, you go out into the community all the time and you are talking about this issue with gun owners. Absolutely. What do you tell them? So as a gun owner, we definitely want people securing their guns, locking them up, whether it's using a trigger lock like I have here on my BB gun or a cable lock or a gun vault or safe of some kind. So how does this work? This this is the trigger lock. This is the trigger lock. So it goes as two pieces and it goes around the trigger so you can't even see the trigger or be able to pull the trigger. And I always recommend, obviously, we're going to take our keys and store them mm -hmm. in a place where our children don't know where they're located. Now, it is possible, is it not, that there might be a round in the chamber? There, there could be. Um, that's why, as a responsible, safe gun owner, we are storing our guns unloaded um, and our ammunition separate from our firearms. Okay, so this is the trigger lock and I think you call this a cable lock. This is the cable lock and it works very similarly. It has a, a key and again, we would wanna store mm -hmm. um, that key out of sight, but this goes through um, the actual chamber of the gun and then it goes in and it's locked now. And again, storing those keys mm -hmm. in a place where children can't find them. Well, the really, you know, important thing, an important thing to say about all this is these are very inexpensive. Absolutely. Just a couple of dollars, right? Just a few dollars. Um, the cable locks typically are a couple of dollars and, and trigger locks are, you know, three or four dollars as well. We have another option over here. I do. This is a little bit more expensive option. This is one of the gun vaults. And this is, of course, for a handgun of some sort. And there's two ways to use it. It has... Um, a special key uh, that you can insert and open. Um, but if your key is stored mm -hmm. away um, and you need quick access to your gun, um, there's actually a way to store a code and you would enter your code and it would open. Um, so that's something that of course you would wanna keep that code and the key um, away from children, hidden from children where mm -hmm. they don't have access to either one. Absolutely. Now, this could address the guns you have in your own home. You can sure. be responsible and take care of your own weapons. Sure. But we all know our children play at their neighbor's house. What do you do about that? How can you ensure that they're not going to have access to guns that maybe your neighbor has unfortunately left uh, sitting around without sure. some kind of a lock? So it, it's a conversation. It's a conversation with that other family, that other adult, um, asking if there are firearms in the home and where are they secured or how are they secured. Um, so I have a real simple mm -hmm. um, acronym for you. Um, Be Smart is an educational program teaching parents just how exactly to keep their kids safe from firearm injuries and deaths. Um, so to be smart, we start with the S and we secure our guns, which is what we've talked about okay. here with the gun locks. And the, then there's an M. An M stands for modeling responsible behavior. So mm -hmm. when you have your firearm out, you're modeling exactly how you should be handling that firearm in front of your children. Um, and then the A, of course, is asking. Um, we're asking other people, hey, you know, mm -hmm. my child's come into play at your house. Do you happen to have any unsecured firearms in your home and how do you secure them? Yes, it can be a challenging conversation, but I like to throw it in with the conversation of, you know, do you have dogs in the home? You know, my child, you know, mm -hmm. is fearful of dogs or allergic to dogs, or it can be the, the allergy conversation of, you know, peanuts in the home or other types of allergens in the home. So including that in kind of your spiel when you're taking your kid over, you're deciding if your kid's going to go play at a certain house. And two, when you go visit family, um, you know, say your uncle has firearms and he's a, an avid hunter, asking your uncle before you come over, hey, we're, we're coming over for the holidays mm -hmm. or for a special occasion. You know, I know you like to hunt. How do you store your, your firearms in your home? So that's be smart. Now we have the S-M-A-R. R is recognizing the signs and symptoms of teen depression and suicide. 
So that's mm -hmm. why I say we want to make sure our keys are out of reach, they're out of sight, they're hidden away from all of our kids, young and our teenagers. Now yep. one more letter here, yes. that's the T. It's the T, and T is really telling others about this education, about how to keep kids mm -hmm. safe from unintentional or intentional firearm injuries and deaths. Well, I think that sounds like a really healthy acronym to remember, be smart, mm -hmm. and having these gun locks in your home. It, I mean, it only means that you are a responsible firearm owner. Absolutely. And I think that's what we all want to be if we have guns. Yes. Well, thank you very much. Uh, Mandy Fultz is the coordinator for Safe Kids San Antonio, uh, mm -hmm. which is led by University Health System. And you're doing uh, really good work by telling people in our community about this. I'm Shelley Koffler. I'm also with University Health System. If you're a firearm owner, be smart, be safe, and talk to your neighbor. Have that conversation.